Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making a soap bag. This is a bag that you can use to lather up with your soap. It is big enough to put a full bar of soap into it if you want to do it that way. Or of course you could use this with the little tiny pieces of soap that you end up with at the end of the bar of soap. And you can just collect them all in this bag and lather them up in the bag. And again, use the bag to scrub yourself up. So this is a really quick and easy pattern. For this pattern, we are going to be using, or I'm going to be using this peaches and cream yarn. You can use whatever yarn you would like. I just want to use this yarn because it is cotton yarn and it would be better for washing and all that stuff. So this yarn is a number four medium weight yarn and they recommend using a five millimeter hook which is what I will be using for this video as well. I do suggest that you watch the video all the way through without working it at the same time to understand exactly how it all works, and then come back and watch it again and work it at the same time. So again, we are going to start with a five millimeter hook and this yarn. And to get started, we are going to start with a slip knot on our hook. If you need to see how to do this or anything else in this video, there will be links for those videos in the description box below. If you like this video and channel, please give this a like and subscribe and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. Also in the description box, you can find the link to my Etsy and there you can find the written pattern for this pattern, as well as a link to my website where all of the other art that I make and sell, such as macrame pieces, jewelry, t-shirts, and more can be found. So please check that out if you would like. And lastly, if you would like to keep up with what I am up to outside of videos, you can follow me on Instagram at the craft nut or at the craft nut clay. And you can also tag me at the craft nut with the things that you make for my patterns, because I'd love to see your work too. So when you have your slip knot on your hook, we are going to start with a chain of 13. So again, we are just going to chain up 13 chains. When you have 13 chains, we are then going to start in the second stitch from the hook and we are going to work one single crochet in that stitch. And then we are going to work one single crochet in the next stitch and into each stitch until you have one stitch left at the end of the row, which should give you 11 single crochets when you have one stitch left. When you have one stitch left at the end of the row, we are then going to work four single crochets all into the same stitch. So again, work four single crochets all into this last stitch. And that should make it so that you are actually rounding the corner or the end of the chain. So I now have four single crochets all in that same stitch. And then we are going to go on to work one single crochet into the other side of each stitch all the way back across this chain. So again, go ahead and work one single crochet in the other side of each stitch along this chain. And that is until you have one stitch left at the end, which will be the beginning stitch that we started with. And as you can see here, I am just crocheting right over this tail end. That way I can weave it in that way instead of having to do it later. When you are left with just the last stitch, which is the first stitch that we crocheted into on the original side, we will then work three single crochets into this same stitch which will end up giving us four single crochets all in the same stitch, one at the beginning and then three at the end, which will give us 28 single crochets all the way around. And then we are going to slip stitch into the beginning stitch of the round. And that is the end of round one. And again, you should have 28 single crochets at the end of that round. So now we're going to go on to work round two. 
For this round, we are going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch and will not count as a stitch for this round or any round afterwards. We are then going to single crochet into the back loop only of this same first stitch. And that is a little difficult to get, especially on the first stitch because it tends to be tight. And again, there are videos for this on my channel to see exactly how to do this if you need to see it with a closer look. So that is all we are going to do on this whole round all the way around. We're going to single crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch and single crochet into the back loop only of each stitch all the way around this round. And again now, this is a round all the way until you get back to this beginning single crochet that we just made. So you'll want to curve each end and then single crochet or slip stitch into the top of this beginning single crochet. And at the end of each round, you will want to make sure that you have 28 single crochets. So I'm just going to go around and continue single crocheting into the back loop only of each stitch all the way around. When you've made it all the way around that round and you are back at the beginning single crochet of the round, we will then slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet and that will be the end of round two. And again, at the end of this round, you should have 28 single crochets. And now that you have finished this round, you should have noticed that your work is kind of boating up. When you turned those corners, it made it want to flip up, which is exactly what we want, so that this becomes the bottom of our bag. We are now going to go on to repeat the same thing that we did for round two for rounds three through 15. So again, we are going to go on to do this exact same thing again for each round for rounds three through 15. So you'll want to start with a single crochet in the back loop only of the same first stitch and then work a single crochet into the back loop only of each stitch all the way around this round and when you get back to the beginning single crochet of the round, you will slip stitch into the top of it and then continue doing this for each round until you finish with round 15. When you've finished round 15, this is what your work should be looking like. And then we are going to go on to work round 16. So for round 16, we are going to start with a chain one. And we are going to single crochet into the same first stitch. Does not have to be around the back loop only anymore, just straight into the stitch. And then we are going to chain one, skip a stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. So we are going to chain one, skip a stitch and single crochet into the next. And again, we are going to repeat that all the way around this round. When you've made it all the way around that round, you should end with a chain one and a stitch left to skip. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And that is the end of round 16. And you should have 14 single crochets and 14 chain one spaces all the way around. For round 17, we are going to start with a chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to single crochet into the same first stitch. And then we are going to single crochet around the next chain one space. And then single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet around the next chain one space. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round single crochet into every single crochet and single crochet around every chain one space all the way around this round. When you've made it all the way around that round, we will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And that was the end of round 17. And you will still want to have 28 single crochets 
at the end of that round. For round 18, this will be our final round. And what we are going to do is one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So start with a chain one. And again, you do not have to do it in the back loop only anymore. Just work it straight into the stitch. But work a single crochet into the same first stitch. And work a single crochet into the next stitch. And each stitch all the way around this round. And when you've made it all the way around that round, we will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And that was the end of round 18. And again, the end of this pattern. So you can now finish off your work here and weave in your ends. And then all you will need to do is go on to work a twisted rope to weave through all of these holes and to create a pull string bag. There is somewhat of a middle point here. So you'll want to start on one side of the middle point and weave your rope all the way through and around until it comes out of the opposing hole. I'm not going to show how to do the twisted rope in this video because I do have a full video tutorial on how to do this twisted rope on its own. And you can find that in my channel, on my channel and in the description box below. And that's all there is to it. So I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was, please hit that sub like and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things. And until next time guys, I'll see ya.